Let's be clear, I have put a ridiculous amount of time and research into this video so you can be sure that this is accurate. What's up guys, Mike MTG Jedi, and that intro may or may not be a hundred percent correct. I have definitely researched this a little bit on definitely um, single digits of different days. Uh, but apparently Google Trends tells me that in Raid Shadow Legends, the number one champion that is searched on the internet is Sepulcher Sentinel? Since when? Why? Please tell me in the comments why is this the most searched champion in the entire game? And if I'm wrong, you need to tell me why I'm wrong and show your work, okay? Um, let's go over this champion, okay? Her A1, her first skill, attacks one enemy and has a decrease attack on it. We know that this type of ability is good against clan boss because um, when you lower the attack value of the clan boss, it does less damage to you and therefore you can survive for a longer amount of time, okay? So it's a 40% chance, which is not very high. It does book up to 60, but you're still only attacking one time, so it's not guaranteed. It does last for two turns, so if you hit, then it does. It stays on there for a minute, okay? And her damage is based on defense. She's a defense-based champion. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, okay. She places an increased defense and a block debuffs buff on all allies for two turns, and it's on a four-turn cooldown. So I guess if you make her speed high enough, then this could be uh, active for the entire time. But I don't think most people are going to be able to make that commitment for the speed in order to get it. So that means that this is only going to be up sometimes, which is helpful, but not great. Her passive has a 25% chance of completely blocking incoming damage when an ally is attacked. So it doesn't stop the damage on her, but it does the other champions. And this is 25, 35, 45, a 50% chance. So books seem pretty important on her. It would only take, I mean, one book there, four books there, and then six books here. Uh, one, four, and six is 11, right? Yeah, so that's not a terrible commitment. And then she has a defense in all battles aura. So all of that seems pretty good. Okay, what about her base stats? 1321, eh? 16K, eh? 98 base speed, eh? No base accuracy, <laughs> And uh, overall, I mean, not bad. I mean, I'm giving her a little bit of crap here. But uh, but yeah, um, you know, she looks weird. I always thought she looked weird. Like, what is going on with the helmet? And the shield is kind of neat. Like, she's going to summon some snakes or something with the snakes on the helmet and whatnot. She's kind of got a snake theme. And she looks like she's ready to kill you. All right, well, um, let's go check her out in my inventory then. <laughs> let's go check her out. All right, so um, I play this game way too much, and so I'm level 98. Uh, here is my great hall. It is well underway. We're, you know, the blue man group here trying to make it into the uh, gold squadron in Star Wars. Um... What else can I show you? Uh, let's say we are in gold four in both arenas. Okay, what else? What else? This is not a flex. This is, trust me, we're going somewhere. Okay, let's let's look at clan boss. Uh, clan boss, unkillable team, 60 so or so mil per key, 
you know, not the best, not the worst. Um, what about the Doom Tower? Yeah, let's go. Um, okay, we beat it. We beat it. All right, it was a challenge, but we beat it. All right, we beat it. We beat most of the secret rooms. Um, I think I'm skipping... Which one am I skipping? The stupid one that I don't feel like doing because I don't need to do it. Um, <laughs> here it is. Here it is. I think I'm skipping this one because it's annoying and uh, I don't need to do it. So we can skip the Lizardman secret room, I think. Um, if you, uh, here, pro tip for you guys. If you come over here to the Fragment Summons, um, you could have a total of 72 possible fragments but you only need a hundred. Okay. So, I mean, maybe I should do that three more. So that's one less secret room that I would need to do. And I can race to that video, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. What else can I show you for reference? How about some other champions? You just need a reference point here. Okay. You need a reference point. Okay. I have some champions. All right. I have, you know, uh, I have a fair bit of legendaries, I have a fair bit of epics, I have a fair bit of food going on, rares. So then obviously Sepulchre Sentinel, you know, we have some more maxed out characters over here. Obviously Sepulchre Sentinel's got to be among them, right? But I'm not seeing her, guys. Where's she at? Where's she at? Let's look. Let's find her. Let's find her. Mm, I feel like we should have like annoying Jeopardy music on here, but uh, I'm probably not going to edit it in. All right, let's go by faction. I just can't. Maybe I maybe I missed her. Maybe I missed her. Oh, there she is. Wait, wait, what? Let, let, let's let's what what happened? What happened? Where? But she's. She's only level one with no gear. She hasn't been ascended. She has no books. Uh, how can this be? The number one Google search in Raid Shadow Legends, Sepulcher Sentinel, the hero of Raid Shadow Legends, and she has no masteries, no books, no artifacts, no levels. What gives? You tell me, guys. You tell me. Should I have this champion maxed out on my account? I know I kind of hammed it up and made a big deal here. But this pretty face, like, what is she going to do on my account? Okay, I get it. All right. Well, let's be real for a second. Let's be real. Okay, I just got second place in that tournament. Somebody knocked me off. Okay. Um, if you're over here in Clan Boss, okay, and you're hitting easy, normal, hard, brutal, maybe even Nightmare, okay, yes, she could be good. Okay, yes, she could be good. You know, in a more traditional team like this, there's not even a decrease attack champion in there. <laughs> Maybe we should be on my other account. Uh, let's try to find a team with a decrease attack champion in it. Uh, I don't see one. Um, maybe this is a bad example in my guild. Um, there are not a lot of people that don't have unkillable compositions. And so, oh wait, does Narma have a decrease attack? Can you even click these? Why do we have two frozen manchies? Oh, for damage. Okay, for damage. Um, does Aox have a decrease attack? I know Stagnite has a decrease attack. Okay, so definitely, you know, some of these... Oh, we have one. Blood Steel. Shout out to the Oath Cluster. Thank you so much for having this team in here ready to go today just for this video. Obviously, I knew what I was looking for, and it was not random that this worked out for me. So, yeah. We have a Sepulchre Sentinel as the lead in a traditional sweet clan boss team. We have a counter attacker, we have a poisoner, cleanser, healer, we have def decreased defense and weaken, and we have a debuff extender. This is a wonderful team. Um, but really, the number one search champion in Raid Shadow Legends is Sepulchre Sentinel. Am I supposed to be maxing this champion out? Am I supposed to be doing a champion? a champion guide on this this champion you tell me in the comments 
if this video gets 100 likes and, you know, a bunch of comments and stuff, I will max out this champion. I will I'll just th throw resources at her and max her out and do a guide on her. You tell me. Is this the correct most searched champion on YouTube? I'm Mike MTG Jedi. We try to keep it positive over here. Uh, come check out the Twitch. Check out some other videos. And um, please, please hit the sub button. It will help me out so much. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And uh, check out some other videos. Uh, you know, we just have, try to have a good time. Catch you later.